Have you ever felt like you're living someone else's life, shaped by external expectations and societal pressures? Do you yearn to discover and embrace your true self? In this video, we'll delve into how Stoic philosophy can guide you on the journey to becoming who you truly are. Before we get started, make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with anyone who might benefit from these insights. And here's a challenge for you. As you watch, think about one area of your life where you're struggling to be authentic. Comment below with your thoughts and one actionable step you can take to align more closely with your true self. Let's embark on this journey together. 1. Discovering Your Inner Logos In Stoic philosophy, the concept of the Logos is central to understanding our true selves. Logos represents the rational principle that governs the universe, and it is also present within each of us as our capacity for reason and logic. To become who you truly are, it's essential to connect with your inner Logos and let it guide your actions and decisions. The Stoics believe that living according to reason and aligning with the Logos is the path to virtue and a fulfilling life. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, wrote in his journal, Meditations. The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. This quote underscores the importance of rational thinking and maintaining a mindset that aligns with the Logos. Discovering your inner Logos involves a deep exploration of your thoughts, beliefs, and motivations. It requires you to question your assumptions and challenge irrational thoughts that may be holding you back. By doing so, you can develop a clearer understanding of your true self and make decisions that reflect your authentic nature. Epictetus, another prominent Stoic philosopher, emphasized the significance of self-awareness and rationality. He said, First say to yourself what you would be, and then do what you have to do. This quote encourages us to define our true selves, and then take deliberate actions to embody that identity. By aligning our actions with our inner logos, we can live more authentically and with greater purpose. A practical way to connect with your inner logos is through mindfulness and meditation. These practices allow you to observe your thoughts without judgment and gain insight into your rational and irrational patterns. By regularly engaging in mindfulness, you can cultivate a stronger connection with your inner logos and make more reasoned and deliberate choices. There is a small challenge for you. Reflect on a recent decision you made. Was it guided by reason and aligned with your inner logos? Or was it influenced by external pressures or irrational fears? Comment below with your reflections and how you plan to incorporate your inner logos into future decisions. 2. Cultivating a Stoic Mindset Adopting a Stoic mindset is crucial for fostering resilience and authenticity. A Stoic mindset involves embracing the core principles of Stoicism, such as focusing on what is within your control, accepting the natural course of events, and practicing virtues like wisdom, courage, and temperance. One of the key teachings of Stoicism is to distinguish between what we can control and what we cannot. Epictetus said, Wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. This quote highlights the importance of focusing on internal rather than external factors. By directing our energy towards things we can control, such as our thoughts and actions, we can cultivate a sense of inner peace and resilience. A stoic mindset also involves accepting the natural course of events and understanding that many aspects of life are beyond our control. Marcus Aurelius wrote, Accept the things to which fate binds you and love the people with whom fate brings you together, but do so with all your heart. This quote encourages us to embrace the present moment and find contentment in our circumstances, regardless of how challenging they may be. Practicing virtues is another essential aspect of a Stoic mindset. The Stoics believed that virtues like wisdom, courage, and temperance are the foundation of a good life. Seneca, a Stoic philosopher and statesman, said, True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. By focusing on living virtuously in the present moment, we can cultivate a sense of authenticity and fulfillment. 
To develop a stoic mindset, it's helpful to engage in daily practices such as journaling, self-reflection, and mindfulness. These practices allow you to examine your thoughts and actions, identify areas for improvement, and reinforce your commitment to stoic principles. Over time, you can build greater resilience and live more authentically. There is a small challenge for you. Identify a recent challenge you faced. How did you respond to it? Were you able to focus on what was within your control and practice stoic virtues? Comment below with your experience and how you plan to strengthen your stoic mindset. 3. Peeling Away Social Masks In our quest for acceptance and success, we often adopt social masks that conceal our true selves. These masks are shaped by societal expectations, cultural norms, and the desire to fit in. To become who you truly are, it's essential to peel away these social masks and embrace your authentic self. Stoic philosophy teaches the importance of authenticity and living in accordance with your true nature. Epictetus advised, know first who you are and then adorn yourself accordingly. This quote emphasizes the importance of self-awareness and authenticity. By understanding your true self and rejecting societal pressures, you can live more authentically and with greater integrity. Peeling away social masks involves a process of self-examination and self-acceptance. It requires you to question the roles and identities you've adopted and assess whether they align with your true values and beliefs. Marcus Aurelius wrote, Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. This quote encourages us to focus on being true to ourselves rather than conforming to external standards. One way to peel away social masks is to practice vulnerability and honesty in your interactions. By being open and authentic with others, you create opportunities for deeper and more meaningful connections. Seneca said, One of the most beautiful qualities of true friendship is to understand and to be understood. This quote highlights the value of genuine relationships based on mutual understanding and authenticity. Another important aspect of peeling away social masks is to embrace your imperfections and recognize that they are part of your true self. Epictetus taught, If you want to improve, be content to be thought foolish and stupid. This quote reminds us that true growth and authenticity come from accepting our flaws and being willing to learn from them. There is a small challenge for you. Reflect on a social mask you have worn in the past. How has it impacted your relationships and sense of self? Comment below with your reflections and how you plan to embrace your authentic self moving forward. 4. Aligning Actions with Intentions To become who you truly are, it's crucial to align your actions with your intentions. This means ensuring that your daily behaviors and decisions reflect your core values and beliefs. By doing so, you can live a life of integrity and authenticity. Stoic philosophy emphasizes the importance of intentionality and consistency in our actions. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, wrote, The soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. This quote underscores the idea that our actions and behaviors are shaped by our thoughts and intentions. By aligning our actions with our true intentions, we can cultivate a sense of inner harmony and authenticity. Epictetus advised, First say to yourself what you would be, and then do what you have to do. This quote encourages us to define our intentions clearly, and then take deliberate actions to embody those intentions. By being mindful of our choices and ensuring they align with our values, we can live more authentically and with greater purpose. Aligning actions with intentions involves a process of self-reflection and conscious decision-making. It requires us to regularly assess whether our behaviors are consistent with our values and make adjustments as needed. Seneca, a Stoic philosopher, said, It is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more, that is poor. This quote reminds us to focus on our inner values rather than external desires and to act in accordance with our true principles. A practical way to align actions with intentions 
is to set clear goals and priorities. By identifying what is most important to you and creating a plan to achieve those goals, you can ensure that your actions reflect your true intentions. Marcus Aurelius wrote, Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. This quote encourages us to take action and live in accordance with our values, rather than merely talking about them. Another important aspect of aligning actions with intentions is to practice mindfulness and presence in your daily life. By being fully present and aware of your choices, you can ensure that your actions align with your true intentions. Epictetus said, Make the best use of what is in your power, and take the rest as it happens. This quote emphasizes the importance of focusing on what we can control and being intentional in our actions. There is a small challenge for you. Reflect on a recent action you took. Was it aligned with your true intentions and values? Comment below with your reflections and how you plan to ensure your actions align with your intentions moving forward. 5. Finding Strength in Solitude Solitude is often seen as a negative state, associated with loneliness and isolation. However, Stoic philosophy teaches that solitude can be a powerful tool for self-discovery and personal growth. By embracing solitude, you can find strength and clarity in understanding your true self. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of introspection and self-reflection. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, wrote, Nowhere can man find a quieter or more untroubled retreat than in his own soul. This quote highlights the value of introspection and self-reflection in finding inner peace and clarity. By spending time alone and reflecting on your thoughts and emotions, you can gain a deeper understanding of your true self. Epictetus advised, He who is not happy with little will never be happy with much. This quote encourages us to find contentment and fulfillment within ourselves, rather than seeking external validation. Solitude provides an opportunity to disconnect from external influences and focus on our inner values and beliefs. By embracing solitude, we can cultivate a sense of inner strength and authenticity. Solitude also allows us to engage in deep self-reflection and meditation. Seneca, a Stoic philosopher, said, As is a tale, so is life. Not how long it is, but how good it is, is what matters. This quote reminds us that the quality of our life is determined by our inner values and actions. By dedicating time to self-reflection and meditation, we can align our actions with our values and live a more meaningful and fulfilling life. In solitude, we can also confront and process our emotions more effectively. Marcus Aurelius wrote, The soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. This quote emphasizes the influence of our thoughts on our emotional state. By spending time alone and examining our thoughts, we can better understand our emotions and work towards emotional balance and resilience. Furthermore, solitude can enhance creativity and problem-solving abilities. By removing external distractions and focusing on our inner thoughts, we can gain new perspectives and insights. Epictetus advised, Make the best use of what is in your power, and take the rest as it happens. This quote underscores the importance of focusing on our internal resources. Solitude allows us to harness our creativity and problem-solving skills, leading to personal growth and self-discovery. A practical way to find strength in solitude is to establish a regular practice of journaling. Writing down your thoughts, reflections, and experiences can help you gain clarity and insight into your true self. Seneca said, We should every night call ourselves to an account. What infirmity have I mastered today? What passions opposed? What temptation resisted? What virtue acquired? This practice of nightly reflection through journaling can help you cultivate self-awareness and inner strength. There's a small challenge for you. Reflect on a recent experience of solitude. How did it help you gain insight into your true self? Comment below with your reflections and how you plan to incorporate solitude into your routine for personal growth and self-discovery. By embracing solitude 
and using it as a tool for introspection and self-reflection, you can find strength and clarity in understanding your true self. The wisdom of Marcus Aurelius, Epictetus, and Seneca provides valuable guidance on how to use solitude to cultivate inner peace, emotional balance, and personal growth. 6. Embracing Your Imperfections Embracing your imperfections is a crucial step in becoming who you truly are. Stoic philosophy teaches that accepting our flaws and weaknesses is essential for personal growth and self-discovery. By acknowledging and embracing our imperfections, we can develop a more authentic and resilient sense of self. One of the core teachings of Stoicism is that we should not strive for perfection, but rather focus on continuous improvement and self-awareness. Seneca, a Stoic philosopher, said, No man was ever wise by chance. This quote highlights the importance of deliberate effort and self-reflection in cultivating wisdom and understanding. By embracing our imperfections, we can learn from our experiences and grow wiser. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, wrote, Everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Everything we see is a perspective, not the truth. This quote reminds us that our perceptions are subjective and that our imperfections are part of our unique perspective. By accepting our flaws, we can develop a more balanced and realistic view of ourselves and the world around us. Epictetus, another prominent Stoic philosopher, advised, He who laughs at himself never runs out of things to laugh at. This quote encourages us to adopt a lighthearted and humble attitude towards our imperfections. By finding humor and acceptance in our flaws, we can reduce the pressure to be perfect and cultivate a more authentic sense of self. Embracing your imperfections also involves practicing self-compassion and kindness towards yourself. Stoicism teaches that we should treat ourselves with the same understanding and empathy that we would offer to others. Seneca said, We suffer more often in imagination than in reality. This quote reminds us that our self-critical thoughts can cause unnecessary suffering. By being kind and compassionate towards ourselves, we can alleviate this suffering and embrace our true selves. A practical way to embrace your imperfections is to reframe your mindset and view mistakes as opportunities for growth. Marcus Aurelius wrote, The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. This quote encourages us to see obstacles and setbacks as valuable learning experiences. By adopting this perspective, we can embrace our imperfections and use them as stepping stones for personal growth. There is a small challenge for you. Reflect on a recent mistake or flaw you have been critical of. How can you reframe your mindset to view it as an opportunity for growth? Comment below with your reflections and how you plan to embrace your imperfections moving forward. 7. Facing Life's Adversities with Stoic Calm life is full of challenges and adversities, and how we respond to them shapes our character and sense of self. Stoic philosophy teaches that facing life's adversities with calm and resilience is essential for personal growth and authenticity. By adopting a Stoic approach to adversity, we can navigate difficult situations with grace and emerge stronger. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of maintaining inner peace and composure in the face of challenges. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher, said, It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This quote highlights the significance of our responses to external events. By cultivating a calm and rational mindset, we can respond to adversity with resilience and clarity. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, wrote, The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. This quote reminds us that our thoughts and attitudes play a crucial role in shaping our experiences. By focusing on positive and constructive thoughts, we can maintain our inner peace and face adversity with courage. Seneca, a Stoic philosopher, advised, Difficulties strengthen the mind, as labor does the body. This quote emphasizes the value of challenges in building mental strength and resilience. By embracing adversity as an opportunity for growth, we can develop a more robust and authentic sense of self. Stoicism 
teaches that we should accept the natural course of events and focus on what is within our control. Marcus Aurelius wrote, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This quote encourages us to shift our focus from external circumstances to our internal responses. By accepting what we cannot change and taking control of our reactions, we can navigate adversity with stoic calm. A practical way to face life's adversities with stoic calm is to practice mindfulness and meditation. These practices allow us to observe our thoughts and emotions without judgment, helping us develop a more balanced and composed mindset. Epictetus advised, make the best use of what is in your power and take the rest as it happens. This quote underscores the importance of focusing on our actions and letting go of what is beyond our control. There is a small challenge for you. Think of a recent adversity you faced. How did you respond to it? Were you able to maintain inner peace and focus on what was within your control? Comment below with your reflections and how you plan to face future adversities with stoic calm. 8. Building Inner Harmony Building inner harmony is essential for becoming who you truly are. Stoic philosophy teaches that achieving balance between our thoughts, emotions, and actions is key to living a fulfilling and authentic life. By cultivating inner harmony, we can align our internal and external selves and live with greater integrity. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of self-awareness and introspection in achieving inner harmony. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, wrote, Nowhere can man find a quieter or more untroubled retreat than in his own soul. This quote highlights the value of introspection and self-reflection in finding inner peace. By regularly examining our thoughts and emotions, we can identify areas of imbalance and work towards greater harmony. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher, advised, Know first who you are, and then adorn yourself accordingly. This quote encourages us to understand our true selves and align our actions with our inner values. By being true to ourselves and acting in accordance with our principles, we can achieve a sense of inner harmony and authenticity. Building inner harmony also involves managing our emotions and cultivating a balanced mindset. Seneca, a Stoic philosopher, said, we suffer more often in imagination than in reality. This quote reminds us that our emotional responses can be influenced by our perceptions and thoughts. By practicing mindfulness and rational thinking, we can manage our emotions more effectively and maintain inner balance. Stoicism teaches that living in accordance with nature and our true nature is essential for inner harmony. Marcus Aurelius wrote, Observe constantly that all things take place by change, and accustom yourself to consider that the nature of the universe loves nothing so much as to change the things which are, and to make new things like them. This quote emphasizes the importance of accepting change and aligning ourselves with the natural flow of life. By embracing change and adapting to new circumstances, we can achieve greater inner harmony. A practical way to build inner harmony is to practice gratitude and contentment. Epictetus advised, He is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. By focusing on the positive aspects of our lives and appreciating what we have, we can cultivate a sense of contentment and balance. Gratitude helps us shift our focus from external desires to internal fulfillment, contributing to inner harmony. There is a small challenge for you. Reflect on a recent situation where you felt out of balance. What thoughts or emotions contributed to this feeling? Comment below with your reflections and how you plan to build greater inner harmony in your life. 9. Reclaiming Personal Freedom Reclaiming personal freedom is a crucial aspect of becoming who you truly are. Stoic philosophy teaches that true freedom comes from within and involves freeing ourselves from external dependencies and influences. By reclaiming our personal freedom, we can live more authentically and in accordance with our values. One of the core teachings of Stoicism 
is the distinction between what is within our control and what is not. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher, said, Freedom is the only worthy goal in life. It is won by disregarding things that lie beyond our control. This quote emphasizes the importance of focusing on our internal states and letting go of external attachments. By reclaiming our personal freedom, we can free ourselves from the constraints of external circumstances and live more authentically. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, wrote, The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. This quote reminds us that true freedom and happiness come from within. By cultivating a positive and independent mindset, we can reclaim our personal freedom and live in alignment with our true selves. Reclaiming personal freedom also involves letting go of societal expectations and pressures. Seneca, a Stoic philosopher, said, It is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more, that is poor. This quote encourages us to find contentment within ourselves and avoid the constant pursuit of external validation. By focusing on our internal values and desires, we can reclaim our personal freedom and live more authentically. Stoicism teaches that true freedom comes from living in accordance with our principles and values. Epictetus advised, first say to yourself what you would be, and then do what you have to do. This quote emphasizes the importance of defining our true selves and taking deliberate actions to embody that identity. By aligning our actions with our values, we can reclaim our personal freedom and live with greater integrity. A practical way to reclaim personal freedom is to practice detachment from external outcomes. Marcus Aurelius wrote, Receive without conceit, release without struggle. This quote encourages us to accept the natural flow of life and let go of our attachment to specific outcomes. By focusing on our efforts and intentions rather than external results, we can reclaim our personal freedom and find greater fulfillment. There's a small challenge for you. Reflect on an area of your life where you feel constrained by external dependencies or expectations. How can you reclaim your personal freedom in this area? Comment below with your reflections and how you plan to live more authentically. 10. Living authentically in a conformist world. Living authentically in a conformist world can be challenging, but it is essential for becoming who you truly are. Stoic philosophy teaches that true fulfillment comes from living in alignment with our values and principles, rather than conforming to societal expectations. By embracing our authentic selves, we can live with greater integrity and purpose. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of self-awareness and authenticity. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, wrote, Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. This quote encourages us to focus on being true to ourselves rather than conforming to external standards. By living authentically, we can cultivate a sense of inner peace and fulfillment. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher, advised, Know, first, who you are, and then adorn yourself accordingly. This quote highlights the importance of understanding our true selves and aligning our actions with our values. By being authentic and genuine, we can build stronger and more meaningful relationships. Living authentically also involves resisting the pressure to conform to societal norms and expectations. Seneca, a Stoic philosopher, said, As long as you live, keep learning how to live. This quote reminds us that personal growth and authenticity are ongoing processes. By continuously learning and evolving, we can stay true to ourselves and navigate a conformist world with integrity. Stoicism teaches that true fulfillment comes from living in accordance with our principles and values. Marcus Aurelius wrote, The best revenge is not to be like your enemy. This quote encourages us to stay true to our values and not let external pressures dictate our actions. By living authentically, we can find true fulfillment and inner peace. A practical way to live authentically is to set clear boundaries and priorities. Epictetus advised, Make the best use of what is in your power, 
and take the rest as it happens. This quote underscores the importance of focusing on what we can control and being intentional in our actions. By setting boundaries and prioritizing our values, we can live more authentically and with greater purpose. There is a small challenge for you. Reflect on a recent situation where you felt pressured to conform to societal expectations. How can you stay true to your values and live more authentically in similar situations? Comment below with your reflections and how you plan to embrace your authentic self. By exploring these aspects of Stoic philosophy, you can gain valuable insights into becoming who you truly are. Embrace the wisdom of Epictetus, Marcus Aurelius, and Seneca as you navigate the challenges of living authentically and finding true fulfillment. Becoming who you truly are is a journey that requires self-awareness, introspection, and the courage to embrace your authentic self. Through the lens of Stoic philosophy, we've explored the importance of discovering your inner logos, cultivating a Stoic mindset, peeling away social masks, aligning actions with intentions, and finding strength in solitude. Each of these steps brings you closer to living a life of integrity and fulfillment. Remember, the wisdom of Stoic philosophers like Marcus Aurelius, Epictetus, and Seneca can guide you in this journey. By focusing on what is within your control, embracing your imperfections, and staying true to your values, you can navigate the complexities of life with resilience and inner peace. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share it with others who might benefit from these insights. Don't forget to comment below with your reflections on how you plan to incorporate these Stoic principles into your life. Let's support each other in the journey towards authenticity and personal growth. Thank you for watching.